a superhero plant. This is how microbiologists and geneticists refer to the Antarctic hair grass. Ukrainian scientists have managed to grow and clone this unique plant in a laboratory setting. These seeds brought from Antarctica don't always turn out to be viable. Approximately every five or six years, roughly 10 to 20 percent of these seeds grow, the rest of them die. Before our research, pretty much nobody could sustain life in these plants for longer than six months or to multiply them. What makes the Antarctic hair grass unique? It's its ability to grow even in the most severe climatic conditions. Scientists believe that the plant might have predated the Ice Age and survived it. There is a zone in which plants grow despite extremely harsh conditions. How do they survive in such a cold, the UV radiation and drought? What is it that keeps them going? It's very important, and we can take this from nature and transfer it to cultivated plants, so we could make them more resistant. Ukrainian scientists are planning to implement the gene of the Antarctic hair grass into the genome of grain crops. In a few years, this will result in genetically modified agricultural crops, which will be able to withstand drought and cold. These plants are from the most recent expedition. They are already growing. They are over a month old and they are doing well. And these are the ones that we got from the seeds and multiplied in sterile conditions using biotechnological methods. And then we planted them in soil. As you can see, there's practically no difference between them. Ivan Panikorza is one of the participants of Ukraine's Antarctic expeditions. He says that scientists are only allowed to bring back a limited number of plant samples. A lot of work is being done there in the Antarctic, but at the same time, we bring plants here to try and find out what makes them so unique. Here we study them comprehensively, their anatomy and their biochemistry. And biochemical studies showed that our plants contained interesting secondary metabolites, which can be of value for medicine. In the future, the unique plant could help fight skin cancer, as it tolerates high levels of ultraviolet. According to scientists, this might take years, but the results may be revolutionary.